Hey, first off, just getting consistency knowing that Frank and Chris are buying the new contracts. How important is that for this franchise and having that consistency? Oh, it's awesome. It's great. Uh, I think for everybody, I mean, for the city, I mean, obviously for the coaching staff and then for the players, just, you know, the continuity of of what we, what Frank and, you know, Chris have built here and Mr. Arce have built here to be able to keep it going, um, that the culture that they have set here that everybody wants to be a part of. Hey, Marcus, uh, you got your offense just the moment you be since you get better indicator tomorrow and Friday with your Carolina. But when it comes to Jonathan, where have you seen – some improvement, improvements that he's made so far in camp that maybe he wasn't as consistent on last season. We were just talking about that, one of the runs he made today in practice. Just his vision and the quickness of him just, you know, seeing, just setting up blocks. Um, and then how he's able to just explode through the hole because he sees that the vision of how it's about to get, uh, you know, how the, the O line's about to climb to the next level and pick up that backer. Um, he just sees it that much quicker, and you could tell he's just playing faster. And does it take, take patience to kind of see where that, that crease is going to be at? Patience and just, just the vision and understanding of the scheme of, okay, this guy's in this front, this guy's going to end up climbing to this backer. Let me kind of dip in here, set up that block, and then once I feel it, then hit it. And he's done a great job with that. Marcus, is, is that to be expected? What, to he, that wasn't the case early last year because he wasn't <laughs> seen maybe quick enough? I don't, I don't. Um, that's what it felt like to me earlier in the season, but he progressed throughout the season, and I think everybody saw that. And then he's almost just picked up where he was from last to the end of the season, and you could tell it's even quicker now. Um, he looks really good. Same with Pittman, maybe? Pittman, yeah. Pittman, you could tell he's playing much faster, more confident in what he's doing, um, understanding defense is much better and how you know the DB's playing him. Yeah, so yeah, he he's playing much faster. Chris, I mean, cut you off. Oh, you good. Pretty good sample size of those young quarterbacks, Easton Ellinger. Have they progressed like you want to see them the first, you know, eight, nine, ten days in? Yeah, they're both progressing well. Um, Jake. Uh, mentally and just understanding the offense. I mean, that's the biggest key for the quarterback. The more and more you know, they take reps, the more comfortable that they're going to get within the offense so that they can make their reads and decisions much quicker. Um, and they both have shown that to do that. Their first action against an opposing team for the next couple of days, what would be your message to them tonight as well? Um, really just trust what they've been doing in practice. Trust their reads. You know, obviously we're going to semi game plan them, not too much, not too intensive, but uh, you know we have a plan for them and just trust the progression, trust what they see with their eyes, uh, protect the ball, and make good decisions. Frank was just talking the other day about just how you guys you know, really stress spreading the ball among the wide receivers. When it comes to the running backs, what is the approach you guys take in terms of how you figure out touches and that? I mean, is there an approach to that? Is we will. No, yeah, I mean, we will. I mean, obviously, JT's um, going to be the lead guy right now. But, I mean, we have a feel. You know, it's going to be a long season, and we have a lot of good backs. And, uh, you know, we want to kind of get them all going. But, you know, we'll have that discussion and, and go kind of go from there. What are the factors that tend to kind of determine that? You know, does it vary on opponents, or what, how does that work? Um, it could, uh, but then at the same time, you know, when you have such a good back, you know, it doesn't matter the opponent, you know, he's going to play well, perform well as long, you know, as long as, you know, we're blocking it up right and giving him the opportunities. Do you have a sense yet of how you want to split up the snaps on Sunday among the quarterbacks, or is that something still being talked about? Um, it's still being talked about, but they're both going to get reps, probably both early, um, early on in the game. Uh, I think Jake could probably at least go quarter plus. Um, and, you know, then Sam will come in. But, you know, we're kind of see how it goes. So we'll finalize that in the next couple of days, see how these couple of practices go as well. We'll get a good sense of where they're at, right? I mean, against an opponent, like that's going to be more revealing. There probably ain't we've seen so far. Uh, I think it will. Uh, it will. I mean, it won't finalize anything, but I think you'll get a great sense of, you know, where they're at um, themselves. You know, even for us, you know, I guess we're getting, getting what – what it is against our defense and practice, but then now when the live bullets come on and a guy's trying to attack you, especially in the game, uh, we'll see how they react and respond. Well, I think training camp, one of the struggles, I guess, for any coach, you know, is the offense doing well, is the defense doing good. From your point of view, how well has the defense played? Yeah. Uh, the defense, I mean, they, they look fast out there, and they're, they're doing different things <laughs> that, um, you know, making it tough on our quarterbacks, you know, just visually, especially our young quarterbacks. Um, but they look good. I mean, they're flying around, making plays. Um, I mean, but we had our share of good plays as well. Um, so it's been a healthy competition going on throughout training camp.